Yeah, certainly. So I think a lot of medications are used um, by either clinicians or patients for, to treat their migraine. Then our study uh, support the use of triptans because among the medications that we compared, triptans is indeed the most effective medication compared to other classes. So I think overall, um, treatment, uh, triptans are really kind of underutilized in the real world setting as a lot of studies that reported for patients that has migraine and have tried several over-the-counter medications, a lot of them are not prescribed triptan, which is the first class of migraine-specific medication. So I think our study really supports the use of triptans. And in addition, um, so it's because that was the most helpful class of medication in our analysis, um, that was followed by ergots like DHE, ergotamine, and anti-amnetic medication, which is anti-nausea medication. So I think those would be useful tools for, for uh, clinicians and patients to treat migraine as well. Note that although a lot of patients like to use opioid or that has been prescribed a lot, that in our comparison is actually not that effective mm -hmm. based on these real world studies and patient provided data. So I think you know in the clinical setting we don't really don't recommend to use opioids to treat migraine. So I think those are the conclusions based on our comparison. Um, however, there are newer medication treatment options available that we did not include, like specifically specifically the G-PANS and DITAN that we did not include in our analysis because when we extracted the data in 2020, there was not enough data. But we are excited for future anal uh, analysis and future studies that incorporate those newer treatment options. So also, this might be a little bit similar to my last question, but um, let's talk about the specific treatments that you had in there. So um, do these findings sort of change the opinions of the specific treatments that you use, considering um, you noticed that some were obviously better than others? I think in general, to me, um, there is no big surprise as our results that we generated from real world, like data patient provided direct directly, was actually quite consistent with previous studies like meta-analysis from randomized control studies and consistent with um, national guideline recommendations. So I think for me, it doesn't really, um, it is not really surprising. However, I think it's an important message for the general.